I guess in this video I am going to discuss about the property in CSOM.NET. So I have created important points about the property. A property is a member that provides flexible mechanism to read, write or compute the value of a private field. A property has a greater is called read only property. A property has a setter is called write only property. So add your gate method and your set method. So let's see the example. So add here I'm going to create first class. And uh, here, going to uh, take a private field int m, and here after writing public int h. So and here, using gate method and your bracket. So this return. In and here of the state. So here n equal to value. Now let's go inside the main method. So and here I'm going to uh, get the object of first class f1 new first. And here, f the object that called edge or field here, the initializing the value with 24. And here, after console cross, of console cross dot the right line method. So add here printing h equal to plus f1 dot h. So let's execute the code and check. So first there are no any error and here output add here displaying h equal to 24. So and here this is the code. Let's understand how the program work. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here after that go inside. So and here I've created first class object f1 equal to new first. And here f1 dot h. So that called here h. So and here h property calls set accessor. So that go to set. And here the value become at here 24. And this 24 value go to n. So here after set accessor work has been done. Now that back. Here after control comes to this point. So at here that uh, set uh, n value 24. Here after console dot write and age uh, column f1 dot h. So at here. The n value is now 24. So this refer to get accessor. So I tell n value is 24. And here after that get 24. That print is called 24. Here that back and here console dot trend line. So let's uh, see and here uh, steps. So first I'm going to create and here breakpoint this two point and here. Let's uh, press F11. So see at here, first control comes to main method. Here after creating object of first class F1. Here F1 dot is. So see at here, here after control comes to this point. Set accessor. And here the value is now 24. So this 24 that comes to this value. And here n is now initially 0. Here after 
this work has been over. Now control back to this point. Here console dot right line and here see auto this one that call get accessor here n is now 24 so here that's it n value is 24 so this return n 20 or uh, return 24 now here after that back so at here this value is now 24 and here that will is equal to 24 So this is the steps of execution of this program. So this is the way the gate and state accessor work uh, in the field here. So this is a simple example with gate and state method. So I hope guys you understand how the program work and uh, what state receive and what gate receives. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching and about gate and set method I will explain a uh, more example related with this. So this is a simple demo related to gate and set method to show you how the value here that receive here local variable int value and here or gate written in and how's the program work. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.